One of the areas I find extremely valuable when I'm working on an image with the operative word in that sentence being extremely is the ability to work on an image with two views. One being like really blown up, I can get to those details, and the other one, well, like this one, so I can see the overall impact on the image. Let's do this. Open up an image in expert mode. Go up to the word window on the pull-down menu and go down to images and select new window. I've got two of them now. You can see them right up here. One is probably at a different zoom. That's fine. Okay. Go back up to the word window, images, and say tile right there. Okay. Now they're next to each other. Blow up one of them. Like say, well, let's do this one. Pick up the zoom tool and zoom in like on, I don't know, her eye. Pick up a tool like the paintbrush tool. We come over here. Incidentally, when you're using the paintbrush tool, if you want to change the brush size on a shortcut method, use the left and right bracket keys. If I come over here and begin paint, not that you're going to do this, of course, you would never do this to this image, but I'm painting basically over her eye. And you can see what it did. So I'm not saying you're going to do this, but what I'm saying is when you're getting into those details and you're working through the image and you're saying, hmm, this looks really good at like 8 billion percent, but I wonder what it's doing to the overall image. You can create this new window. Now you're still working on one image when you save it. It's not two, but you can get a look at what it's going to do or how it's going to impact the overall image. And at the same time, you got it nice and big so you can work on it and get to those details. I like that. On to the next.